Hi everyone, in this video I will focus on Windows Snipping Tool, an incredible tool that is becoming better and better with the latest update. You don't need to install it. And you don't need to install third-party tool if you want to take screenshot or you if you want to screen record. So you can add rows, you can sketch anything on your screenshot, you can add shapes, you can highlight a specific part in your screenshot. Moreover, you can video record if you are looking to create a small or short video tutorial. So let me show you how this tool works with the latest additions. Let's go. Here we go on my Windows 11 machine. To open a snipping tool, you have the ability to use the shortcut key, which are Shift Windows S. And this will open a new instance of snipping tool. As you can see, I have now the command bar on top. Or if you prefer, you can follow the classic way by tapping Windows and then by searching snipping tool. Now let's open the tool and let me show you immediately the new capability that Microsoft has rolled out for Windows insiders right now. So I'm going to open settings now because I would like to focus on the version of this tool. So this is the version that you need to have in order to play with this new feature and capability. All right, so we can go back and start to take our screenshot. Then I'm going to walk you through about all other new capabilities. But let's see the very latest one. So let me now open just a page in the browser so we can make more real this, this demo and this demonstration. So I'm now going to open snipping tool in the Microsoft Store and let me again reopen snipping tool so we can take a classic string screenshot of this web page. So let's say that we are doing a, a step-by-step -step guide with images or you can even use this icon to snip and record your screen. So let's now hit the button new and this will open this experience where you can still again if you want to take a screenshot or if you want to record your screen. And now what we can see here is the new capability called Quick Markup. You can also press the shortcut key Control plus E. So by selecting this, you can enable or disable this function. And when you take the very first screenshot, like in this case, this will provide an extra and an additional step before capturing this screenshot. It means that here now you can sketch and row things on this area. So here at the very first position I can capture this area as a screenshot. I can save to and copy only. This could be also useful, copy only if you want to copy and paste immediately this image. Otherwise, you can share this image, you can visual search with Bing if you want, maybe you want to focus on a specific object you, that you are looking for, and you can also ask directly to Copilot in this, in this area. So let me focus now on this function. So here, Selecting the pen, you can, of course, choose the color. You can, if I reclick again, you can select the size. Here there is a number, let's say 10. And now I can start, for example, drawing something and highlighting this, this text, for example. I have even the highlighter. And here again, you can select the sides. This is really up to you. It depends from the text that you want to highlight. Let's say this area, this is good. I can, for example, select these sides, which is pretty good to select immediately these two rows without passing uh, two, twice. So the, the color I'm going to select white, yellow, and now as you can see, the sides, it's pretty good. It fits completely the two rows. 
and I have also the ability to erase what I am, what I am doing. For example, I can click with the left button of my mouse on the part that I selected. Now, something to keep really in mind. So you are not working like in Photoshop or any other image editor where you deal with layers. So here you have to really take care when you do something because the only option that you have is erase or go back, undo. You cannot select a previous object or draw or shape that you drop at in this area and it means that you the only two options that you have is erase or undo as i said so we have seen the eraser now here let's see this is also recent as last edition it is the emoji so here you can set a bunch of emoji for example you want to drop a thumbs up and this uses uh, vectorial images it means that you have a very high quality even if you change the size of this one and moreover you can also use shape so if you are used for example to do stuff like that where you draw a rectangle here you can do even better this thing by dropping shape you can select a rectangle here, for example, and then you can choose the outline. In this case, it's going, uh, I'm going to use this yellow and you can also change the opacity and again, the sides if you want. You can also fill with color this, this rectangle, but I wanna have a very simple rectangle and I want to highlight the button to download this tool. There you go. I drop it a perfect rectangle here this is a very nice way to go you can use also the circle if you want let's see immediately how it looks and you can also put line for example let's say that instead of drawing this manually you can highlight specific text by doing uh, this thing so and before dropping you can also change the in uh, decide uh, if it's good or not you can change the sides or you can stretch the line if you want and again you have also the undo so you can review what you are doing another incredible and powerful uh, things to do here is play with arrows so especially if you are highlighting specific part or want to have a step-by-step tutorial using images maybe you are creating an article or a news for your users this is something very immediate and easy to do without installing third-party tools okay we have seen this editor mode now let's say that i'm ready so i can tap on capture and this of course it's going to capture the image i should see the notification showing up in this area the classic one provided by snipping tool so in the meantime there you go i can see the preview here it's very important to know that you can reopen the image or you can open another one if you want and you can still have the ability to re-edit and draw this image maybe you can add additional things maybe you forgot to add something don't worry you can save the screenshot and then you can reopen it using always a snipping tool and add what was missing this version of snipping tool is available for windows insiders so keep in mind that if you enjoyed this video please consider to subscribe and add a comment down below let me know what do you think about the snipping tool and if you are already using it i hope to see you next time